What's up, Nick fans? All right. I am Victor Hatchba from Nick Fans Brazil channel. Today, a special guest, special guest from Nick Film School, bro. Co-host from New Nick Film School, Andrew Claudio. Welcome. Welcome to the Nick Fans Brazil channel, bro. Thank you, Victor. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's great to be here. It's great honor for me. It's great honor. I, I talked uh, with you in backstage and uh, I mentioned for you, uh, I love your job. I love you, uh, <laughs> Jonathan Macri, Nick Film School. Uh, congratulations uh, for your job. Thank you. And, thank you. And thank you. Thank you too. Uh, so your first time in Nick Fans Brazil channel, okay? Uh, so, do you can introduce yourself for Brazilians? Okay. Um, so, as Victor mentioned, my name is Andrew Claudio. Uh, I work at Nick's Film School as the executive producer of all the content that we do, whether it be the YouTube channel or the podcast. Uh, John Macri, who's been on Nick's Fans Brazil, uh, as well as Jeremy Cohen, who I'm sure would love to come on Knicks fans, mm -hmm. Brazil. Uh, they're the our Monday co-hosts, and then um, they discuss pods throughout the week. And I'm kind of the behind the scenes guy that every now and then comes in front of the camera. Um, but yeah, I, I love what I do and the, the thing we've built over at Knicks Film School, and I'm excited to keep building. <laughs> Before... Uh, I, I want to talk with you about the New York Knicks, of mm -hmm. course, okay? But I am curious, bro, I am curious. Uh, how start uh, mm. your passion with basketball, with the Knicks? Do you can tell for us? Um, I got into the Knicks toward the late 90s, actually. So um, I like most basketball fans in the late nineties, uh, saw this guy named Michael Jordan and decided, <laughs> yes. Oh, what he's doing is really cool. And decided to start. Oh yeah. Blood in the garden. Hey, Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, Harry, yes. we will make happy with yes, this interview. Yes. <laughs> um, so I, I started watching basketball because of Michael Jordan. And then in 98, the bulls beat the Knicks. And mm -hmm. or excuse me, the Knicks beat the Bulls during the regular season. And I saw like everybody I knew getting excited about it and was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be a fan of this one guy. Maybe this one team would be better off. And then the uh, uh, he retires and I decided to actually pick a team. And that first season that I rooted for the team was ninety nine. Um and good year good yeah very year. good year the the uh, <laughs> alan houston running jumper and the lj four point play and the trip to the finals and this team has hooked me ever since and uh no matter how many times they disappoint us i'm always going to be a fan yes i totally understand you mm -hmm. i i am nick fan uh since 92 bro 92 mm. So you, in you Brazil, more, you, know. you see more of a success. Yeah, I'll say that. <laughs> yes, I saw the Knicks. Um, Michael Jordan lost two games for us in 93. Mm -hmm. 93 uh, uh, and Michael Jordan later uh, fired in your eyes with us. Nah? Uh, later, 94. Mm -hmm. nah? We are the champions in the, this conference. Olá, João. Okay. But uh, it's uh, great years. Great years. Uh, mm -hmm. John Starks, Patrick Ewing, Anthony Mason, Charles Oakley. So many players. So many players né, in Knicks. But, but uh, let's go né? talk about New York Knicks next season mm -hmm. uh first of all uh i want uh, your opinion about uh these two new players in new york knicks uh jalen brunson and Isaiah hartenstein what uh, what do you think about uh these players what's your uh, expectations mm. uh with these these guys 
in in the Arc Knicks in next season? So, first of all, Isaiah Hartenstein is outstanding and probably overqualified to be the backup center. And I think he's going to finish a couple of games. It's going to be really nice to have a center that is a legitimate stretch five and a dependable rim protector. He's going to make that second unit that was lethal two years ago even better. And I I really liked that signing. And a lot around the league, everybody was like, oh, I, I like that signing for the Knicks, even if it like wasn't a difference maker toward like a championship is concerned. Uh, and then Jalen Brunson, I'm very high on him. I understand projections can vary from just like a nice player, or a stable point guard to where I may have him, which is a borderline all star and most improved player candidate. Um the biggest thing I can say is that the Knicks will have a better point guard than they've had for the last 15 years. He's the best point guard they've had, Stefan Marbury, and maybe three <laughs> weeks of Jeremy Lin. Um, I think I'll this start. Is... I'll start the last year. Uh, I think Mark Jackson. Right, but the... like, so you got to go back to 2002 or even the late, the early 90s, you know. So uh, Jalen Brunson is going to be. <laughs> A, a huge upgrade over what we've seen, which is a refreshing thing to say. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I mentioned this channel, uh, for example, um, Jalen Brunson, for me, okay, it's not a franchise player. It's not a PG from my dreams, okay? But, but, uh, it's a good player. I like so much your energy. Uh, it's a solid solid point guard you mentioned new york knicks don't have a solid point guard it's a long time long mm -hmm. time uh, so i i think jalen brunson can help so much né, the this team in the next season and uh Isaiah hartenstein um i i think okay uh it's very great for this team because open the floor will be open the floor, open the space from, from these players, uh, drives, né? Jalen Brunson, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, né? Uh, like so much, né? Drives in our games. Uh, this guy, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell Robinson, don't shoot. Mm -mm. This guy, shoot uh, two, uh, three points. It's not like the same Evan Fournier in three points, for example, but... I, uh, Knicks have a, a center shoot three points, bro. Right? Three points. Yeah. I, I like this. I like. I like so much, and uh, I, 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 I think very important because uh, Mitchell Robinson, Jericho sings, uh, uh, Nerlens Noel, these three centers, uh, the same, the same skills. Uh, Isaiah Hartenstein, it, it's different. Uh, different skills. I, I, I am curious. I mentioned, Andrew, uh, in this channel, in begin, I don't like it. I don't like it when I hear um, Isaiah come to the Knicks. But so many people, so many people uh, uh, say to me uh, good things about the center. Right. I change, I change my opinion. I change my opinion. And, and now uh, I am very, I am very curious about this center in the next season uh, really uh, man, uh i i really really great uh these two two guys in the next season yeah i agree it's uh yeah as as upsetting as last season was and as frustrating as it was at times um the thing i keep going back to about this year is even though i don't think the ceiling is very high um yeah. like for going into the playoffs and how far they could go i i think they'll be better than last year and more importantly more watchable which that's all we can hope for is fans who plan to watch 82 games regardless you know uh it's not a a, a great expectations uh, from everybody with this team but i i think it's very good because uh Knicks have uh, so many younger players mm -hmm. uh low pressure <laughs> it's good for from the, these younger players uh more 
uh, I forgot this word, but uh, younger players more. Um, I forgot, but it's, it's very important for for these younger players. Uh, the expectations, it's not a a, a level high, né? Uh, I think he, I think it's very well. But uh, I talk with you about Jalen Brunson, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, do you do you think uh, Jalen Brunson uh, can 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 help uh, Julius Randle mm. in the next season? Because you know. So many Nick fans, I, for example, uh, disappointed with uh, this player in the last season, okay? And um, my opinion, Julius Randle, the problem is mm. here in the last season, okay? But I want your opinion, Andrew. Uh, do you think uh, Jalen Brunson can help Julius Randle and Julius Randle uh, play better uh, in the next season? Um... I will start by saying that I don't think Julius could play any worse than he played last season. Uh -huh. um, I also think that what this will do more than anything else is make it that Julius isn't the primary focus of the other team's defense. Now there's a legitimate threat that will have the ball hopefully more than him and will allow him to take a lesser role as the number two, or even at times the number three behind RJ Barrett and will allow for a more natural, less un a more unforced uh, offense from him uh, that will hopefully create more balance on the team rather than we are only good. If he is good, like things went last year when he was bad and therefore we were bad, you know? Uh, for me, oh, I am disappointed with J uh, Julius Randle, okay? But I love New York Knicks, okay? Julius Randle uh, play better. For me, oh, it's okay. Julius Randle, see this interview, okay? Play better, man. Play better. <laughs> I will help. <laughs> yes, you. Julius. Play better, please. <laughs> <laughs> please. Yes. Uh, so I want to talk with you about uh, RJ Barrett. Uh, what's your opinion about ex uh, extension? Do you like it, uh, 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 extension? And uh, second question about uh, RJ Barrett too. Uh, do you believe RJ Barrett can be a future all-star or not, in your opinion? Um, great question. I... So the first one, I mean, how could you not like the extension, um, especially at that number? I don't think the bonuses are all that likely that, that are in the extension. So I think it'll age even better as time goes by. I think the um, the, the ca salary cap is going up significantly over the next few years. So should worst case scenario, uh, you want to trade RJ, you have that option. Also, just to have someone of his caliber um, on that good of a value deal is a positive, no matter what way you look at it. Um, I'm not going to put a ceiling on RJ and say he can't make an all-star team. I'm less, I'm less like he's guaranteed to make an all-star game than some people are. I think he's got a lot of work to do. And I think like Julius Randle had the best season of his career and one of the best seasons in Knicks history a couple of years ago and he barely made the all-star game. So I think a lot is going to have to happen for RJ to get there. Um, I think Jalen Brunson has more of a case to be the Knicks representative for an all-star this season. Um, but to, to answer your question, I absolutely could see RJ making an all-star game or two, whether it's a guarantee or if like it's like five or six that you project for him is a different conversation to have. Oh, I agree. I agree with you. Uh, in this channel, I make it for you because uh, everybody talk uh, <laughs> when talk with me. No, I love RJ Barish. I super mm -hmm. believe. I super believe in the in this guy. And I I, I make this question ever. All guests in the, this channel, I uh, in the first interview, I want this opinion because I I believe not now, but. Uh, two or three years, I believe RJ Barrett he has has a chance. Uh, will be a all star, in my opinion, my my modest opinion. I, yeah. I believe. Yeah, but I agree. Uh, 
<laughs> I have another question. Uh, it's a uh, you know uh, so many Nick fans are uh, around the world talk so much about uh, Grimes versus Fournier. Okay, <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Uh, in your opinion, Andrew, uh, uh, what these guys you prefer uh, to be a starter? Uh, in this team I'd prefer Grimes um, I also think there's a world where the Knicks prefer Grimes to be the starter the, you don't have him be the the deal breaker in a Donovan Mitchell deal if you don't see a larger role for him than Evan Fournier's backup that's just the logic mm -hmm. that I'm using there um, I, I'd like to see it I will say that it was very limited last season and then you know, he got hurt, and then we got to see flashes of it in Summer League, but I also recognize it's Summer League. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'd i prefer Grimes just because I, I honestly just want to see what the fuss is about and why this guy, if, if he was a deal breaker for, for Donovan Mitchell, why why was he <laughs> a deal breaker? And as a result, I, I hope they're right about it too. Uh, Grimes, it's better now nah, compared with uh, Evan Fournier. Uh, dif defense, mm -hmm. defense. Uh, uh, Grimes, it's better defense player now nah, compared with uh, Evan Fournier. I I, uh, I prefer Kenton Grimes too. I I, I imagine uh, I like Fournier, but don't super like it Fournier. <laughs> so uh, Evan Fournier from the bench. Can, can be useful, can be great from this team. Uh, puts it uh, fire on the on these games, not nah, three points. Uh, I, I I make it, I I I believe now. Nah, I believe uh, it's more uh, great Fournier from the bench uh, than starter in this team. I joke, Andrew, uh, with Ron from Stunic Fans Channel. Uh, uh, I I talk with Ron. Ron, uh, we we need buy a glass from Evan Fournier, and all games Evan Fournier see just Boston Celtics. All games yeah. Fournier, Boston Celtics today, tomorrow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Evan Fournier uh, uh, like this M MVP MVP from NBA. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Evan Fournier. See all games, just Boston Celtics. Do, do you remember mm -hmm. uh, Evan Fournier off with the Boston Celtics? Anytime uh, he plays the Celtics, he goes off. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I, I want to Andrew your opinion too about uh, these younger players uh, from from the Knicks. Okay, uh, we talked now about, for example uh Kenton Grimes RJ Barrett okay but I I want uh your opinion too about another players uh Obi Taupin uh Emmanuel Kikley okay I am worried about Ken Reggie for for example my opinion okay I am worried about this guy I I can't imagine it, this guy uh in second unit for example in starter and second second unit too i don't know i really like this guy but i can't ima uh, imagine this guy in this thing so uh i want your opinion about these guys né? younger players from the knicks what's your opinion about this uh let's go in order so i'm very high on obi Toppin. in fact i don't think the knicks will ever do it but the fact that it Julius Randle may get relegated to the third option at times in the starting role, starting lineup gives me confidence that if he's off and Obi is on, like is having a good game, there's a world that Obi plays more minutes in certain games than Julius Randle, especially third option Julius Randle. And especially what we saw from the last 11 games and the two preseason games of Obi Toppin. Um, so I'm I'm very high on him long term. That's for sure. Emmanuel quickly, I I hesitate because there's a lot of smart people that I trust that think he's being underused by the Knicks. I don't. I can only go by what I've seen, and there's like some really long shooting splits, shooting slumps 
in his in his two first two seasons. I uh, I'm glad he shot out of them, and I I'm, I'd love to see what he looks like as a starter. But as of right now, I think he can be a very elite bench player that doesn't necessarily hold the role of backup point guard, but it's like backup creator um, that can run your offense from time to time and finish a lot of games. I think he's going to finish a lot of games for the Knicks this season, whether it be the, because Grimes is off or because um, because Fournier is off. Uh, I think you're going to see a lot of quickly this season. And then, uh, look, Cam Reddish, I was never in, like, the Cam Hive. I wanted to see what it was. I wanted him to get minutes over Alec Burks or some of the other veterans that were getting minutes last year just to see what this asset could be. Um, I don't think he'll be in the rotation to start the year. I don't think he deserves to be in the rotation to start the year. I'm not going to, you know, call that trade a complete bust, but I've always been curious about what the Knicks could have gotten if they had an extra first round pick this off season, uh, at least going into the draft last off season. Um, but we'll see. Um, I am curious uh, what, cam's future is on the knicks for like the next month or so um but you know no no ill will against him i i just i've never been in the camp of him and then a couple of the guys you didn't mention um i'm i'm big on deuce mcbride and similar to like a frank nilakina role where he's not your backup point guard you don't have a, a set role for him but he has to play minutes because he's a net positive when he's on the court uh, and then Jericho Sims, if and when Mitchell Robinson has his inevitable injury this season, uh, I'm I'm big on the fact that you have a competent backup center that's freakishly athletic and can protect the rim and be a lob threat. Uh, then you got him with the 58th pick in the draft. So um, just as an asset, Jericho Sims is pretty great. Uh, and you know, the Knicks have drafted like say what you want about Leon Rose, like they've drafted really well over the past three seasons, and you love to see it. I, I totally agree, totally agree with you. Uh, Nick fans, now in the past, so many bad uh, uh players mm -hmm. in drafts. Do you remember Frank Nilikina? So Frank? many, yeah. <laughs> People with this guy, bro, <laughs> it's complicated, it's complicated. But I, yeah, later, yeah. Uh, RJ Barrett and Mitchell Robinson, uh, so uh, before this guy is Charlie Ward, né? is the, mm -hmm. the last guy, uh, resign, né? uh, rookie, né? resign with the Knicks. I, 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 I love so much this because. Uh, so many teams uh, in NBA uh, grow up uh, think uh, this format. Uh, do you remember in the last season, Boston Celtics and Golden State Warriors uh, had so many guys in draft? So many mm -hmm. guys. No? So I, I, I think interesting uh, about the this the new New York Knicks. Yeah. Ab yeah. about the, the about this draft uh and uh i want your opinion about uh derrick rose derrick rose uh do you have uh expectations yet with this guy or not and uh you do you believe derrick rose uh, uh uh can help more these younger players then uh can be important playing in these games what's uh, what's uh, your opinion about uh Derek rose um so he was like arguably their more most important player two years ago you know um more, i like, love Derek rose yeah huh, i love Derek <laughs> rose too yeah <laughs> um i think he i'm curious to see how durable he is i know he like lost a ton of weight and I, you commend him for working on his body i will say the last two seasons where you were counting on him for major minutes he broke down because he's 
he just can't be that player at this point in his career. And mm-hmm. the common denominator with the last two seasons was that the point guard ahead of him was just like not, not worthy of getting the majority of the minutes at the point guard position, whether it be Alfred Payton or Kemba Walker. That's going to be different now. And you wonder if the addition of Jalen Brunson, while we all are factoring in how it's going to help the starting five and the other starters, you wonder how it's going to help Derrick Rose and his durability because you're not counting on him for 20, 30, like 35 minutes a night. You can set like 18 to 22 minutes for Derrick Rose and just call it. You know, you can even play him like just like a solid 17, solid 17, 18 minutes, you know, or like nine minutes a half. And you lead on quickly for a little bit longer and you lean on Brunson for even more. So he leads the league in minutes. Um, I I mean, the numbers are pretty evident that more Derrick Rose is a successful pattern and plan for the Knicks. And I I'm happy he's on the team in the sense of it's going to help them win games, whether it blocks some of the minutes for some of the younger players. Would you like to check out their ceilings more is a different story, but all that being said, yeah, I, I, I too love Derek Rose. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Derek Rose, Derek Rose. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you saw the, the last two games now from New York Knicks in preseason, bro. I care. I, I, I really care. Uh, uh, attention uh, with my heart uh, when I saw these games because I and Ori um, um, as I stay too excited to to this team. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah. You remember in the last season, Knicks uh, win uh, win Boston Celtics the last ball with uh, R.J. Barrett uh, make the title from this team, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, Knicks fan base in this day, crazy, crazy. I am crazy in, in this day, so it's complicated. It's complicated because, um, I, I, I want to make the, the last question for you, uh, about uh, expectations, Andrew, about expectations with uh, New York Knicks in next season. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know. Uh, our conference it's very hard yes very hard very hard so uh i want your opinion and uh your expectations now with this team uh do you believe for example uh in playing just playing playing and playoffs or mm-hmm. playoffs no uh, 60 seed five seed or or another uh-huh. and uh, i want your opinion about your expectation with this team in next season so there's two different answers to your question as far as expectation um i i expect the knicks to be watchable for 82 games like i said earlier <laughs> but i i i just expect a better product than we have from last year and i think mm-hmm. that's going to lead to more wins than last year that's for sure as far as what i my prediction which is a little different uh so they're over under right now if you wanted to bet money uh for wins is 38 mm-hmm. and a half and i would hammer that over there's no way you add isaiah hartenstein and jalen brunson and you're only gonna win two more games than last season when everything seemed to go wrong um then you add in the fact that Tom Thibodeau, I think, will be the head coach the entire season. And, you know, he's going to try and win every single game, which, you know, could be to their detriment. Because the other factor is that the NBA uh, has a prospect on the rise named Victor Wembanyama, And there will be a lot of teams looking to enter the Wembanyama sweepstakes and tank and lose as many games as possible. And Mm -hmm. the Knicks will not be one of those teams. So almost to their detriment, they will try to win as many games as possible. And as a result, I'll I'll say I'll I'll stick to it. What I said on the pod Um, over 42 wins and 45 is my prediction for this season. However, I think that'll be the eight seed. Um, I them or Atlanta. 
and I think they'll play a play-in game against the Miami Heat in Miami, and then the Hawks will play a, a 10 seed, whether it be uh, Chicago or Charlotte or Washington. Um, and then if the Knicks lose in Miami, then they're hosting the, the Hawks again uh, as a rematch <laughs> of a couple of years ago <laughs> to decide the eight seed. Um, but yeah, yeah. Th- that would be my prediction for this season that the Knicks are at minimum the eight seed. I don't have, I don't think they're, they're good enough to be a top six team. Um, but top eight for sure. Top 10, definitely. Uh, I wanted this team surprising me. Mm-hmm. I want, uh, this team you, you, you saw that, uh, interview RJ Barrett interview Knicks shock will shock the world. Uh-huh, shock the I, world. I want. I want, I want this, I want this. Uh, I have a point, bro. Uh, in the pandemic year, uh, Knicks had a uh, Alfred Payton, mm-hmm. Alfred Payton point <laughs> guard. My eyes, blood. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think, bro, just, just uh, mother from Alfred Payton. Just your mother like Alfred Payton in Knicks because bro. <laughs> Knicks for seed for for mm-hmm. for seed. And uh now we have a a really uh a solid point guard Jalen Brunson. Okay? Uh, do you rem- uh, you remember in pandemic season uh nobody nobody believes in Knicks uh come to playoffs nobody mm-hmm. okay uh four seed now uh we have a a, a better better team compared uh with this season i know pandemic season blah 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 about mm-hmm. the pandemic season but nicks four seed in, in pandemic season okay so uh i believe in playing okay um my opinion, I believe in playing later playoffs. Okay, I believe. But uh, I want uh, this team surprise me. Really, I, I want. Because, uh, bro, New York City deserve, deserve a, a great team. Uh, Nick fans, it's so passion, so passion, uh, stronger passion. Uh, not not uh, just in United States, so many countries. Mm. I make it, for example, uh, interviews with uh, Nick's bus from Australia. I make it uh, soy Nick's from Spain. Uh, Nick's Germany, né? Nick's Germany, Daniel Han, mm. uh, Poland. So many countries uh, has a uh, Nick fans. And uh, Nick fans deserves, bro, uh, a, be- a better team. Uh, I, 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 I believe uh, in these guys. I, I, I understand our conference. It's very hard, very hard. Mm-hmm. I know, I know. But uh, nobody uh, knows about the future. <laughs> uh, do you understand? Uh, I, I really, really, really hope. Uh, this team surprised me, me, you, and uh, everybody in the in the next this season. Uh, I and, agree. And, uh, and Andrew, I I want a uh, mention for you. Our channel. Uh, uh, I want make a trip uh, from New York uh, next year or uh, twenty four. I want make a trip. Uh, to New York, uh, me and more 20 Brazilians with me. And uh, I hope uh, meet you, Jonathan, and uh, so many people from from New York. Uh, Brazil has a, a Nick fans. Now it's complicated, more Golden State Warriors ah. and uh, <laughs> another team. Maybe, but has a, a Nick fans in Brazil, okay? Has a, a, so many Nick fans in my country. Mm-hmm. And I hope to nah, uh, meet you in New York. I hope uh, we, meet, we meet when you come here as well. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy with yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. 
And uh, I hope, né, bro, you enjoy né, the, the first uh, interview with us. I hope, I hope uh, you enjoy and uh, come back to, to the future in our channel. Uh, I mentioned for you, uh, I like so much uh, your job, hmm. Jonathan Macri, and uh, all, all, all guys from Nick, fans, Nick, Nick Film School. Uh, I feel so close, bro, uh, when I, I talk with you and uh, another guys from United States, uh, because in Brazil, so many channels are uh, talking more about NBA, NBA than uh, teams. Mm. I have my project. Uh, it, it exist another project about Chicago Bulls, um, Golden State Warriors, Brooklyn Nets. But uh, it's very important uh, because, you know, uh, people in uh, the United States is like the same. Uh, people make so many jokes about the Knicks. You mm -hmm. know, I am tired. I am <laughs> really tired about this. I feel really. that, yeah. And, and it's, it's very important, Andrew, uh, bring you and the, another uh, uh, people from, from New York in this channel. It's very, very, very important, bro. Very important. So I just, I just say thank you, bro. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, thank you so you. much. Your time in this channel, your opinions about uh, New York Knicks, and uh, soon I will make uh, um, put uh, subtitles in this video, and uh, I hope now you enjoy uh, and come back to the to the Nick Fans Brazil channel in future. Victor, thank you so much for having me. To to all of our friends of out in Brazil that see this. Uh, Thank you uh, from all of us at Nick's Film School. And uh, yeah, go Nick's for, for this. Go season. Nick's. Yeah. Go Nick's. <laughs> Peace, bro. Bye Tchau. bye. Queria comentar com vocês, né? Nós temos agora uma novidade aqui com relação ao Nick Fans Brasil: que o canal agora pode ter o programa de membros né, no YouTube. Então, eu gostaria de pedir para você, você que puder, se inscreva também, né? Seja membro, seja membro do Nick Fans Brasil. Apenas R$ 7,99 por mês. Apenas R$ 7,99. E você vai ter vantagens exclusivas, vantagens exclusivas por ser membro do canal Nick Fans Brasil. Uma delas, você vai ter grupo especial no WhatsApp, que você vai ter as notícias sempre antes, né? vídeos e etc sempre ditos antes para os membros uh, benefícios que vão ser estudados ao longo do tempo que vão ser exclusivos para vocês além de sorteios galera quem for membro vai ter essa vantagem galera então bora lá participa e apoia o canal Nick fez Brasil pessoal beleza e aí pessoal este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick fans Brasil Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Unifens Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifens Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos e também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não, para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! I do, are you down with the orange and the blue? I'm a Nick